So now you're all going like, okay, you built a lamp. Let's see what you do with it once you get into stager. So let's let's go take a look at that thing. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to go to stager. Here we are. So what we'll find in here is um, a blank stage, and we can import stuff as you well know. You can do all kinds of things to it. Um, I think what I might like to do, I just want to show you a couple of things. Under view, you get the opportunity to turn the grid on and off in case that bugs you. It's kind of a useful thing for when you're building. The other kind of nice thing is, let me get zoom out of the way here for a second and click on environment, and you'll see here that my background I can control the color of my background. I can change it to something else if I want to. So you can fool around with it. I kind of like it black like this. It gives it a really classy look, and then you can bring things in and get dramatic lighting on there. But it's entirely up to you. Let's do what you know I'm going to do, which is to say import 3D model. Go find our lamp. There you are. Open that guy. Bring it in. Uh, it says you want me to generate UVs, and I say, of course I do. It may not work, but that's okay. Um, as you know, these this little gizmo here lets me control the size of something like that. So I can grab that blue box and scale that guy until I'm kind of happy with it. And then if you just hit go to ground, it'll snap it right to the ground like that. Um, I'm also going to bring in a desk here and just plop that a table in here. So now what I can do is put my lamp on top of my table. I'll pull that straight back up again and then pull that over until I get the little note that says... You are there. Whoops, I don't want to rotate it. I want to move it. That's my little arrow there. I'm still rotating it. Maybe what I'll do, sometimes you have to just kind of rotate around until you've got a better angle on something. So there we go. V key will give me my tool back again. Now I can grab that arrow tool and pull it over here and then set it on top of that. So that'll tell me. Snap. See that? Isn't that cool? And it says, oh, you are on the surface. So there we go. And then I can get my one tool again, go back around, get myself kind of a good view. And then I'm just going to hit my F key. F says frame anything that's selected. So I've got my lamp selected. It'll, it'll grab that whole thing. Notice here in the environment, under scenes, I got that piece right there. I've got group one, which is just the lampshade, and group two, which is the base underneath that. So that's a really useful way to build your stuff. Um, I'm also going to come over here. So let's give that some materials. First of all, we'll just go ahead and quickly do this. So let's find something that's kind of cool that we can use for the glossy beige satin fabric. I don't think that's going to be right. Let's get the base of that filled with something like um, a gray clay, maybe a brown clay, maybe this hexagonal. I don't know. There's a lot of cool things inside here. You can see you can have a lot of fun with this. Boink. It's going to take a minute. Loading, thinking, burp. cool. So I can go play with this thing. The materials in here are quite amazing, and they're parametric materials. So I can come down here, change the size of the tiles, change the color of the tiles, change the color of the grout, all kinds of stuff. So it's pretty cool. Um, what I want to point out now is that I've got the opportunity to put lights inside this light, inside this lampshade. I'm going to grab point lights. Point lights are illuminated all around. And so it will give me a chance to see what that looks like. I'm going to just zoom back out here until I find my light. There it is right there. So it's on the ground. What I'm going to do is grab that V for my move tool, my gizmo, and then pull that up until it is basically inside my lampshade. So you sometimes have to kind of zoom around until you see where am I in space. You can kind of see it's pretty much in there. I'm, I'm going to turn ray tracing off so we're not getting so much excitement happening while we're trying to work here. But you can kind of see it. It'll, it'll continue to show you what it looks like, but it's going to be right there. So what I want to do is now, again, V, I might pull that up a little bit farther. You can duplicate it inside here and put two or three or four light bulbs inside that. Um, here inside the properties for that point light right there in my scene, right there you can see there's my point light. Here under object, I've got the opportunity to say I want the exposure to be high. I've got to turn the intensity up. You can see what it's already starting to do. It's lighting up the inside of the shade lighting up the surface of the table. Um, that uh, lampshade, I think what I'd like to do also is give that a material, materials, of something that is kind of cool, like maybe this glossy lead satin fabric. Ooh, 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 ooh. That looks pretty sweet. Um, same thing, I'm going to grab my trestle table and give that a material of like a wood material, so we get something like 
rough lumber. Sure, that sounds great. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. So then, again, you can kind of set yourself up with the view that you want. Where do you want to be? I'm going to zoom in here. Um, once I get happy with the view and say, that's what I want to do, um, what I, can, I could also do is put a rug on the floor. Let me just quickly show you how to do that. I'm going to go back to my regular materials, my standard materials, basic shapes, plane. I'm going to put a plane on the floor, uh, V for grab my tool there. Box will let me scale that until I'm kind of happy with the size of it. It's just a plane. It has no dimensionality to it. So I can make that as big or as small as I want. And then what I can do is say under File, Import, and I want to place material on selection. And it says, what material would you like? And I go, well, I've actually got a piece of carpet down here. Oh, you know what? I might have to change it to, I might have to change that to um, a standard standard object. So this is a bit of a trick. So when you put a material or a basic shape in here, a cube, a sphere, something like that, it's it's got special properties to it. And until you switch it to a standard object, it won't let you do um, a material on it. So you right here under actions, it says, you notice you don't get the sticker. So this says, I'm going to convert it to a standard model. Is that okay? And you go, sure, convert to standard model. Turns into the sticker. So I could click the sticker here, or I could go to file. And say place image on material import place image on material material and selection and come back here and now i can pick my can i get my that my model now why is that not doing that what the schmutz don't you hate when that happens or especially when you're making a video good grief so especially when i just did it <laughs> so that part let me put see if i can put a sticker on here and grab it then because it's a png file there we go it just is grumpy a little bit so it puts that on there now I've got my opportunity to grab this rotation, rotate that kind of into place where I want that, and then scale it up by grabbing that and going whoop until it kind of fits that thing. So pretty easy to make a rug underneath that thing. All right, again, once you're done and you're happy with everything, the way that it works, I just might zip up a little bit in space and then maybe rotate a little bit more. There we go. Let's say you're happy and you say, I want to go render that puppy. I'm going to go to the render space. That's what it looked like before, but now we've got a rug underneath there. Render in here. It says you've already got one called Untitled. I haven't changed the name right here, export file name, but I could. So then it says, okay, I'm going to blast the old one and give you a brand new one here. And it starts. There you go with this kind of process of it will just continue to iterate. It takes about, what, two minutes or something like that for it to run through the whole thing. And then you've got a test run. And you can say, I'm happy with this. This doesn't work so well. I'm going to go back in like the sheen on that plane that we put in here for the rug is a little bit too shiny. I want to go back in and change that in those parametric materials. So under properties, you can go back in and change the sheen, change things like anisotropy. It's pretty cool, the, the level of smarts that you can add in here. Um, I'm hopeful this is good for you. I'm, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to stop now. But hopefully you will get all kinds of cool stuff happening on your end because you've been paying attention. So long.